alternative investments uh, the name itself suggests that it is different from traditional investments both in the types of assets and securities held and the structure of the investment vehicles in which these assets are held talking on the point of view of your examination of CFA level 1 this particular topic holds 3% weightage in the entire exam why is it important and difficult to assess this part is because students often neglect this topic because it holds 3% of uh, the entire examination but from my point of view you need to focus on this particular topic mainly because our aim to pass the CFA level ex 1 examination should be scoring more than around 75% in each topic out of the 10 topics that you have and uh, because this section has only 3% it will display four questions in your examination so by mistake if you uh, fail to answer one question uh, correctly that is you answered it incorrectly you will come down to 75 percent directly and by failing to answer one more question you would fall down to 50 percent so our aim here is to get the entire four questions right in alternative investments what students do is they try and avoid some kind of subtopics it may be uh, with re regards to your hedge fund valuation or uh, measures of due diligence or fee structures and then it results in a harmful impact on their exams so my advice to you would be to focus on this portion and complete it well so that you could get a hundred percent in this section of your CFA level 1 examination Okay, alternative investments, again the name itself suggests that it is different from your traditional investments. How it is different, in what structures, what kind of investments are being held in this kind of a structure, that is what we would discuss. We would discuss on the different strategies, fee structures, due diligence and issues that we have in valuing and calculating returns with each of the alternative investments. We would now come down to the features.